Hi, everybody. It is Food Truck Friday. Melissa, you picked a good day to be here for so Scott. Good in here. Um, our mouth is watering. We're here in the cake, batter, and roll food truck. And Lindsay Chartran is here. She is the owner of this truck, and she is a waffle creator and connoisseur. So thank you for being with us. Absolutely. You're welcome. So we're talking about a special kind of waffle, not just the waffle that, you know, you put pancake in the waffle maker. This is like taking it up a notch. Yes. So basically, um, this is going to be a yeast risen dough, um, so it's a little more time consuming to um, prep uh, the uh, dough ahead of time. So we make it, it has something called pearl sugar in it, which caramelizes when it cooks and makes a, a nice flavor on the outside of it. Uh, so it's going to be like sweeter, and this is like a true Belgian waffle? It is a true Belgian waffle. One of the, one of, there's a, there's a couple of them, like the Brussels waffle and stuff, but this is a true Belgian waffle, yeah. Will you right. show us a little bit about how you do it? Yes. So basically, we have um, the yeast risen dough here I cut it into portions um, and get it ready to go for its last rise it does on the truck the other rises happen at the bakery um, and then we have this um, wonderful waffle iron that actually came from Belgium wow. um, and we put uh, the dough on here and it cooks up uh, nice on there how did you get involved in doing this so funny story I knew I, I love baking I love cooking and I knew I wanted a food truck I wasn't quite sure what to do so I made a Facebook poll <laughs> And waffles were overwhelmingly what people wanted. Oh my but gosh, yeah. Regular waffles sounded boring. So I had to figure out what can I do. And after some research, I came across these, bought a smaller iron, tested everything out, had a big party at my house, had a bunch of people test it out, and I got the thumbs up. So we ran with it. That's so amazing. They're sweet, but do you do savory waffles? We too? do do savory. So we do um, some version of like chicken and waffles, is what we brought for you today. Oh, okay. Because um, we don't fry on here. Um, so that type of chicken and waffles isn't here, but instead we do a couple different types of shredded chicken. And the one we're doing today is our Mexico chicken. All right. Um, we make everything, all the sauce back at the shop, um, and it has like tomatillos and cilantro and onions and cumin, all that good stuff, and it'll get topped on top of the waffle. Oh my right. gosh. Well, yeah, do you, do you want to make it for us so we can yeah, see how you absolutely. put it all together? absolutely. So I know a lot of people have this dream and started it during the pandemic of having a food truck, but you have any advice for other people out there who have your dream? Uh, <laughs> don't underestimate the amount of paperwork there is. Okay. Um, <laughs> research. Lots of research I would do. You really have to talk to the town officials, talk to all the departments. You really have no clue how much more involved it is to start it until you're in it and you want to have as much information ahead yeah. of time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to keep you from making this delicious all stuff. Right. But you can see, so these are a little sweeter and I see what you mean. They turn brown from the sugar in the dough. Yes. So this is our um, pulled Mexican chicken. It is not spicy, but it is full of flavor, and we use guajillos and anchos in there. And then we top it with maple crema. The maple Ooh. crema is just simply sour cream and maple syrup, but the maple syrup is made by my family in upstate New York. Oh, wow. And so we do lots of family recipes back at the bakery, and this is one of the ingredients that we uh, use. Now, is the bakery open for people to come to, or is it is? The bakery is open for people to come. We're open every day but Monday. Um, What's the name of it? Cake Batter Cake Roll? Cake Batter Roll, okay. same name, but you won't find the waffles there. We do oh, all right. completely different stuff over at the bakery. And then where can people find you, you know, out and about? So we do try to post when we're out and about doing public events. The public events are kind of uh, dwindling as we move more towards private events. So we're available for like weddings and graduations, birthday parties, all that good stuff. How fun to have this at your party. Yeah, so you've got the, you've got the food with things like the buffa dough or the sloppy dough or the Mexico dough. And, we have, and then you've got things like the jitterbug, which is cake sauce, confetti sprinkles, cake croutons, like <laughs> you've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, so um, how should we try? Oh, I, uh, the, yes. We, uh, we got a little bit of time left in the show, so we'll take a little bite here in a way that um, <laughs> so we don't get too messy, right? <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to take a little bit of the waffle and the chicken because it's hard to... I'm um, gluten-free. Do you ever offer a gluten-free one? So the waffles, unfortunately, no. Um, it's really chicken. hard to do the gluten-free with... Um, a yeast risen dough, yeah. um, so it's proved difficult. But at the bakery, we do offer lots of gluten free products. Mm, the chicken is really good. The on chicken there. is good. so good. Okay, yeah. so um, tell everyone real quick where they can find you. So you can find us at our bakery at 124 College Street in Middletown, which we have breakfast, um, lunch all day, all yeah. kinds of cool treats, vegan and gluten free stuff. Wonderful. Yum. Cake batter and roll. Thanks everybody. Thanks Melissa. Have, have a great, great weekend. weekend.